This video is brought to you by BasketBashersDiscGolf.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my review of the MVP Disc Sports Teleport. It's a high-speed distance driver from MVP, relatively new release. Big thank you to Basket Bashers for sponsoring this review. I appreciate their support. Go to BasketBashersDiscGolf.com and check out the website for any MVP, Axiom, Mint Discs. They also have the Disc King Lex. All with free shipping, so go check them out. I appreciate their support. Into the review of the Teleport. This one's a Neutron Plastic. It's got kind of a mint chocolate chip color to it. Nice minty green color. Um, quite substantial rim on this thing. You can see how big the gyro rim itself is on this thing. And then uh, flipping around here, you can see it's just a relatively wide rim disc for sure. Um, it's pretty sharp. Not necessarily terribly comfortable in the hand. It doesn't feel bad, but it's a little sharp for my taste, I would say. Uh, if you have uh, really small hands, this might be a difficult uh, disc for you to get a hold of with that wide rim. PGA approved, MVP, gyro, teleport, 174 grams on this particular one. It has a pretty flat top. It's not like domey, but it's not perfectly flat either. It's got just kind of a basic profile there. And again, a relatively wide and somewhat sharp rim. Um, so the feel in the hand isn't isn't my favorite, but it's not terrible. Uh, the Neutron plastic is great though. I love it. It's well documented here on the channel. It's a nice high quality premium plastic that has a great grip and a nice feel to it and still maintains a good amount of durability as well. So yeah, here's one more look at the rim profile for you guys. And let's get into the flight characteristics of this thing. I actually consider it to be pretty overstable. Um, you guys know I don't have a huge arm. I'm also not a huge fan of really fast discs. It's definitely fast, it has a noticeable speed to it, and it has a dramatic fade at the end of the flight for me and my throwing power. Um, unless you have a big arm, I don't see how you're going to get around uh, a substantial fade with this disc. Um, even if you had a big arm, I think once it slows down, it seems to really want to hook up strong. It skips nicely if you throw it kind of low and flat. It will take a big flare skip, which is nice. On a hyzer, it really drops out of the air for me, and it's not something I get a ton of distance out of, honestly. Again, if I had a bigger arm, I could see where the distance potential would be based on the speed and the fact that it's stable enough that you could really rip on it. But I can throw this thing as hard as I want to. It's not flipping over, and it has a really pronounced fade at the end of the flight. So I can throw lots of different discs farther than this thing just based on the fact that it doesn't really flip up and ride too much for me. Um, so I think this is better suited for bigger arms, um, unless this particular one is just a little bit more overstable than some of the other ones you're going to run into out there on the course. Maybe a lighter weight or something like that would help you get a little more distance. Um, but if you found one that was uh, as stable as this, I think you really need a big arm to maximize its potential. Not recommended for beginners. It's going to be something that really wants to go left on you. And it's really fast, so high speed stuff is not recommended for beginners anyway. As you guys well know, I preach all the time here on my channel. So yeah, I guess it's not a bad disc. I, just, I guess I was just kind of uh, surprised by the stability I got out of it. It ended up being more of a flex shot disc or a... Uh, strong hyzer or something that really comes up, comes down and fades strong at the end of the flight. Um, so it's definitely functional, useful disc, but just not quite what I was expecting. Uh, again, I think it's better suited for bigger arms, for kind of lower to average arms like me. You're going to get a lot of fade, a nice skip, but a lot of stability that you can really throw as hard as you want to and it's not going to flip over on you. So that's my review on the MVP Teleport. Thanks again to Basket Bashers for their support. Thanks to you guys for watching. I'll check you later. Cheers.